Okay, here we go again with basic forms into objects. Now we're going to draw this house. What form should we start out with? Uh, cube. cube, yes, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another square like I did with the books. But it's going to be a smaller square. And you're going to do it very lightly. One thing I noticed when I was looking at your stuff, some of you drew so dark that it was hard to get rid of the outlines. So I'm going to draw a square. Make sure you're looking at the picture when you draw yours. And there's also going to be another square. Just, it doesn't go all the way to the bottom right here. It's up just a little. And if you look at it, it's about one peaky's width wide, one and a half. The house is one and a half wide, okay? So this would be one and a half. It's not as wide as the big house, part of the house. So if I were to... So you want to make sure that it's drawn to scale, and I do that by measuring how many widths of this would fit in the width of that house. So it would be one and a half the width of that. So if I did one and then half of that, it's drawn to scale. Now, on top of this square, you would see a, a triangle, okay? This triangle... I think you call this an eave, maybe, hangs off, or a gable hangs off. And this part is just above the angle, the corner. So you see a triangle. Now, just like the books, we're going to do foreshortening, demonstrate foreshortening, by making things go back in the distance and get closer together. So I'm drawing these diagonals that are similar, but eventually they would all converge at a vanishing point way over here. Okay? So I'm going to make this angle diagonal at the same angle as this diagonal. Then I'll erase my tail. Then I'm going to draw another vertical line that's parallel with the corner of the front of the house. Okay, so I'm going to draw another horizontal line. Where'd my picture go? Okay. I'm looking at it right here. A, di a horizontal line. And it comes up just above the corner right here. Now, I made my roof too deep. Meaning, I made this rectangle too shallow or either my big house part is too big. So, I'm going to raise this up a little. This is going to go back at a slight angle, diagonal. Now, I'm going to put a guideline right here to where I'm halving my rectangle. And I'm halving this so it can help me with window and door placement. So my door should be just below half of the house's length of the rectangle. And you could fit three doors width. Here, if you put another door here and another door here, they'd all be just about the same size. So up here, you can see where the tops of the windows line up with the bottom of the triangle. And they're centered between the middle line 
in the edge of the house. Now, is it drawn perfectly to scale? No, but it's close. Okay, you're going to see a suggestion of window panes in there. It's not very clear. You're going to see a suggestion of a, a window on this door. There's also a door over here that if you were to divide this in half, this door would be on this half. And then there's another window that lines up with the top of the door. Okay? So, now I'm going to draw the chimney, which is a rectangle. This goes up at an angle, which is the same angle as the roof. And it also gets smaller in the distance. Now I'm going to erase my guidelines. 